they're all right. They're not. I still prefer the party ones that have got this very sweet. So we've done a mile since I said for 25 miles. And you'll also notice that the towpath is now on the right hand side. Uh, bad news at this point. There's nowhere to moor when the towpath's on the right hand side. And when we go into Cosgrove Bridge, the towpath returns to our left. They're a bit like Bourbons, Bourbon biscuits. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but bourbon don't sell themselves as brownies. No. Bourbon brownies. No, but these taste pretty much like a bourbon biscuit. I know. So rather than paying one pound for a I packet know. of Oreo, you could pay 26 pence for a packet of bourbon biscuits. Yeah, I've been duped. Yeah. It's no big slab. Now the party well. Oreos, they're worth paying 50p for when they're on offer. But they're ever so sweet. When you eat them, it's like a party in your mouth, isn't it? Well, that suitably upset the beans for tea tonight. What? Having a snack in the afternoon. Yeah. Was there three each? Rations. Yeah. My microphone keeps slipping down. Watch, Ooh, where, watch where I'm going. I was watching my microphone slipping down. And I was wondering if I was sounding muffled because it would slip down. I'm now doing zigzags back and forwards across the canal. That is my one, yeah. I've only had two. Are you getting another one? No. He's being good. Makes a change. <laughs> Definitely bourbon like. Those of you watching that have heard me earlier saying it's like an S, we're just coming up to it now.
Looks like I've caught them up again. Lots of geese in that field. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, I mean, there are. Hundreds. Tell you what, if I can get them. Gonna get them. I'm not going to get them because there's boats moored up ahead, and I'm now on the wrong side of the canal. So I'm just going <laughs> to just going to put this back where we should be, just in case someone comes around the corner. Loads of geese, Canadian. Are they Canadian or Canada geese? I think they're Canada, Canada rather than Canadian. Well, they must be getting ready to uh, migrate somewhere warmer. That's if it, uh, so if it turns any colder than it currently is. It's probably going to. No one's behind me. Actually, that behind me is the church spire that Paul said to uh, anyone who which church it was. I will look it up. Just disturbed a heron in front of us. The other boat is just flying up. Let's get a bit of a wiggle on. What time is it? Half past three. I don't know, I kind of find myself getting a bit stiff in the shoulder if I've been stood here too long. Ooh.
I suppose it's like anything, isn't it? Where if you if you do something for too long a period of time, you start to seize up. And if you stand in one position or sit in one position, and it's good to keep moving. Keep doing repetitive tasks like typing. You you get your RSI stuff, don't you? And or that on your phone. Right, we're going up to Cosgrove. There's a few little moorings, or probably two or three boat length moorings on the right hand side that we're just coming past. They're normally quite busy. I don't think there's any restrictions on this section, as in you can stay for 14 days. Then as we go under the bridge, which is a, um, it's, it's a, a stone bridge rather than a brick built bridge. It's quite posh. And uh, the towpath flips over to the, my right, your left. Um, side and that's where it goes to two days or 48 hours I think it says never been able to find <coughs> or have moorings at this point Oh, that sun's bright and getting quite low. Bridge. So welcome to Cosgrove. <coughs> so that's bridge 65. Like I said, quite posh. Uh, the moorings along this section, there were rings, which is quite nice, um, against normal metal arm cove, which is two days maximum. And then you've got to move on. These houses are relatively new. I don't remember them being that close. So I think whatever used to be there was knocked down and it's been repurposed <laughs> as housing. They look quite nice actually. Definitely, definitely new. And then we've got the Barley Mow garden coming up. Probably pop back to the barley mow a bit later on if we have time and uh, have a pint. Uh, have we got a slower? Yep, yeah, we have got a slower. I don't think they'd be too impressed if we turned up and started pinning in. Um, I'm sure you can though. If you really wanted to. Oh, a bit of shade. No, well, there is a there is a mooring T there, but that would be that would just be the middle rope. Again, Cosgrove is quite a canal-based town. It all seems to all be centred around and facing the canal side, which is really nice. Let's 
just about going over the horse tunnel now, which is below the canal. It goes out to that street up that way, and with steps leading down from the towpath this side. Okay, we talk about the horse tunnel at Cosgrove a lot. This is it. basically a tunnel that runs under the canal that allowed the horses to change from one side of the towpath from one side of the canal from the towpath to the other side and that's it walking through hey look back cowboy there it is horse shaped of course I don't know where that other boat's disappeared to. I don't know whether we've passed, they've moored up and we've passed them, or if there's... They might stop at the services. I've lost sight of them. Yeah, the duck's laughing at me. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're on the surfaces. Okay. And haven't vanished into thin air. <laughs> I'm be following the Cosgrove ghost boat. <laughs> I think we'll just carry on and we'll head towards the lock. I don't know where Paul's gone, actually. There he is, speak the devil. Oh, did you finish it, yeah? Um, yes, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Mine was the one at the front. Uh, looks like kayakers, canoes at the lock. Actually, quite a few of them at the lock. Yeah, yes I have. There's a hell of a lot of them. And they're all on the lock. No, they've had, they've, that's the trip boat the, that's just above the lock. No, they were. They, it looked like there was a trailer and a, a, a van with a canoe trailer back in one of the fields just as we came round the Essie bit. Yeah, there's a bit more space this side, I know it's sort of. Yeah.
Okay. Okay, we should make it. <laughs> okay. Has anyone fallen in yet? Almost, Almost yeah. <laughs> They're all doing good. They're all doing good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to turn in, so if you want to try and go down front. because my back's going to swing in now. It's all right, it's got the, um, yeah. Falling over a little bit of canvas because it's gone all limp. And just where I was about to step off, there's gravel. Do you want to step us back a bit so we're... to give them a bit of room to get out there. I don't want to be stood on that gravel. No, that's on the other side. Living dangerously, I've got old little taff rail. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> no. No, there was only the, the boat that was at the services that was in front of us for a little bit. Right, that's a bit better. Just gives them a little bit of room to come out of the lock. Oh, sort myself out. That way is for Buckingham Arm. Uh, we're right next to where they used to load the um, let's do a camera a video where the uh, trucks would have come to be loaded on so they suppose tram rail truck rail and that way which is kind of into the sun 
It's the entrance to the Buckingham Arm, which they're restoring. Sorry? Oh, are they? Ah, OK. Fair enough. I'm going to have a glug of, a glug of juice. And that, folks, is the end of our canal adventure. Just for the time being, we'd like to thank all our subscribers and viewers for watching our journey so far. We will, of course, be back later in the year. But until then, bye.